everybody. These are going to be uh, Udum Bara Ukraine uh, flower pots. Now it's evening and I always like making my studio ready in the evening. Then in the morning it's really nice. I can st just start drawing, which is the fun part, but it's only very limited time in pottery you do actually drawing. If there is a potter watching the video, I can show that I always throw on these plaster pads. And these, I think I made these in 1994 and I'm still using. Oh, if you drop it, then you, it, it will break, but otherwise you can use it year after year. line of the pot what's what it's gonna look like and uh, I love this one because I found it in eastern Finland in the thrift store and it's exactly the kind we had home when I was a kid <laughs> everybody uh, last few years I've been doing uh, in springtime uh, limited ed edition flower pot or planter pot and this year I was going to do one it's called Ikimetsa and this limited edition pot is a kind that uh, I do it a little bit bigger than my size 10 and I sell it at the same price that my size 10 but uh, I only sell it from my studio and I put 10 euros in each pot to UNICEF and uh, but this year I was going to do it a little bit differently and collect money for the Finnish wild forest but unfortunately a war broke out in Ukraine but everybody knows about it and the only thing we can do here in say Finland is something to help especially civilians and children so instead of making the, my forest pot I'm making this Ukraina pot that uh, that uh, donates and uh, collects money for the Finnish UNICEF I like UNICEF as it helps ev helps everyone, not only Ukraine. And so, if you're new to my channel, I have a small pottery in uh, in Helsinki. And I, I make flower pots or planter pots, sculptures and lamp feeds with our local clay, Kultela clay. I have a video there about the clay and where it comes from. This, this 
pot looks quite big now but it will shrink 20% so it will be quite a lot smaller when it comes out of the kiln and it also will turn to orange color because this uh, Finnish wild earthenware clay has lots and lots of iron in it that turns red in the kiln. So I don't use measurements when I do my pottery. Well, only measurement I use is the weight. So this is two and uh, two point four kilos, and uh, I don't think there's any no. There's no need to do exactly the same product over and over again. I've done that when I was young. I did that for years. And when people come to my studio, they can choose and look. Each one is a little bit different. started snowing outside so our spring is like this you have sunny days and then snow comes back <laughs> 